So lately here on the Jamari channel, we have been in the business of exposing people from TikTok. I know you guys remember the couple from a few weeks back who had some serious communication issues, documenting it for the world to see. How is it going to be a surprise if you keep asking me about it every day? Stop asking about it and it will happen. It, okay, I, I'll try my best to stop asking about it. I'm just really Don't excited for best. it to happen. Just stop asking about it. Just do better, Natalie. Do better. <laughs> and I'm sure you also remember that evil blonde girl running around the mall with her cookies. Well, last night I was back scrolling on that godforsaken app, and I found yet another person who had been done dirty. So here we are on the video in question. Our guy Nate over here is coming with a message of warning. As you can see there on the screen, he says, Danger. The caption on this video is, Watch out, kings. This guy is pretty much going to be coming in here like a beacon of light, basically saying, Hey, guys out there, don't end up like me. And they tell you not to fuck with these LA wannabe influencer TikTok girls. I'm gonna show you why. So even just in hearing his opening statement, I already knew that things were not gonna go well for our guy. He was out here dealing with one of these girls who moves to LA and immediately thinks she's Kim Kardashian. You know, she might only have 500 to 1,000 followers, but she's still walking around like her shit don't stink. Maybe she smashed one of the Nelk boys out there and now she thinks she's special. When really she just has a disappointed father somewhere. Okay, for some context, I had been talking to this girl for a while. We hung out a couple times. We're just playing phone tag. Um, this guy. I see the other day she posts a vlog on her Instagram story. Her oh, YouTube. damn. Uh, so I go watch it. I'm going to play some clips. So first off, he's going to be talking about the girl on the right. And let's also acknowledge that our guy was absolutely down bad. Out here refreshing her YouTube page. Like, has she posted anything new? Did she say something about me? Like Chase in that episode of Zoe 101 where he wants to find out what she said so bad that he digs up that capsule. Third probably, so two glasses of wine. Britley's down bad. Wait, just, I'm gonna call him. I don't know, the, you're not at the Penmar. Ew. Okay, you're lame, I'm at the Penmar. So, why don't you just call me later this week and let's hang out. Who is this man? Okay, bye. Okay. I'm watching this and I realize I'm the one on the other side of this phone call. This was a few weeks ago, but I remember this conversation. I'm the one she called when she's down bad. I'm fired up. I'm ready to send out a text <laughs> to her right now asking her to come over. And then I keep on watching. My guy said, I'm fired up. She called me. I could hear the tequila in her voice. And I guy thought he was going to get a little bit lucky with some sort of booty call. But like he said, he would soon find out the truth. Okay. Bye. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, we're hanging out with later this week. He's so ugly. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, just laugh away the pain, my guy, with your Halloween colored nails. I really do think this whole situation is really just a big old testament to where we are in our current society. That you can't even meet up with the chicken piece a couple of times. Because later on you might see her calling you ugly as fuck in a vlog. And also it really didn't even make sense because at first she was acting like, Oh, I don't even know who this guy is that keeps calling me. And then she was also calling him ugly. So which one is it? Do you know him or not? And y'all know I could not just let that be the end of this story. I started thinking, oh, who is this girl that thinks she's an influencer? Why does she think she's so important? Why is her ego so big? And so I did a little bit of investigative journalism, meaning I checked the comments and I found her Instagram page. I am going to be blurring out some of her information because I'm not really trying to put her on blast like that. I'm just trying to show you guys some of the dangers of social media. So as you guys can see, this woman has a whopping 128 followers, following 749, that's a really weak ratio. You know, her post is only out here getting 39 likes. As you can see, other people in the comments have uh, found her Instagram page. This comment right here really says it all. It says, an influencer with 128 followers. I'm just gonna give you guys a little fair warning, and probably to some of you girls out there too. If you ever look through someone's phone, and you go to their photos, and they have a bunch of selfies, like they take a selfie at least every day, they're always out here posing at every single place they go, unless you're also a certain type of person, cut that motherfucker off. They are just way too in love with themselves. This one's extra hilarious because she says, point of view, we're on a lunch date. Now was this before or after you decide this guy was ugly? And then you guys know I had to dig even deeper. 
and I said, okay, let me find the actual YouTube video. Let's see if she's got it popping over here on the tube. And this girl had a whopping 1.7 thousand subscribers. Someone better warn Mr. Beast because she's catching up. These vlogs of hers were consistently getting anywhere from like 100 to 500 views each. I'm so wrong. Off of one glass of wine, if anybody was wondering. No, 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 no. Ooh. This is Damn like three or four. This is Damn. the third, probably. So two glasses of wine. Britley's down bad. Wait, just, I'm gonna call him. Her friend said, you're not really drunk. You're just acting because I pulled out the camera. And I gotta be honest, just by watching this vlog footage, this guy should have kind of known what he was getting himself into when he was out here trying to take her seriously. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I really have no idea. I don't, why are we calling it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah. Are you at the, you're not at the Penmar. Okay, you're late. I'm at the Penmar. So, why don't you just call me later this week and let's hang out? Who is this man? Okay, bye. Come on. Okay. Well, we're hanging out with later this week. He's so ugly. <laughs> Okay. I just really cannot shake the image out of my head of this guy coming home from work, maybe coming home from a workout, and he's like, oh, that girl hasn't hit me up in a couple of days. I wonder what she's been up to. Let me go check her social accounts. He says, oh, she's got a new vlog up. He gets to the part with the phone call. He's like, oh, it's getting juicy because I know that's me. I wonder if she's going to profess her love to me. And then she says this. You just call me later this week and let's hang out. Who is this man? Okay, bye. Come on. Okay. Well, we're hanging out with later this week. He's so ugly. <laughs> ugly? And keep in mind, if she really does think this guy is ugly, this is someone that she went on multiple dates with. This is someone who she's calling when she's drunk. So what does that really say about her? Was she just looking for the free food? Can she just not go a couple of days without attention? I do not know. But what do you guys think? Do you think our guy over here, Nate, was being petty? Or do you think that she deserved to be put on blast? I mean, at the end of the day, she did blur his name out of the video. But she probably knew if he was really feeling her like that, the chances of him seeing this video were very high. And so I do kind of think it's a fucked up thing to do. Let his video serve as a fair warning, Kings, like he said. Not all that glitters is always gold. Sometimes you need to take the sign, see those red flags. And if this shit does happen to you, just be like our guy and laugh through the pain. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Of course, do not go and bother anyone that I've featured in this video. I just think this situation is crazy, and like I said, very telling with where we are in our society, and the way social media has molded and fucked up people's minds. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy Tan Superman, and some other wannabe influencers out here need to be humbled, so I'm out. Peace!